Hello everyone. Today we're going to install Core Reader on a Cobo Libra 2. And in the same process, we're going to install Nickel Menu, which we're going to use to launch Core Reader. I have put together all the files that we need in a little repo. Go ahead and clone that repo or download it as a zip. I'm going to put the, the uh, link on the description of this video. So once we get down to downloading that zip folder, extract it, and we are ready to do the installation. But before we do any steps, if we go into the main home here, uh, we're going to add this line to our coboereader.com. And you may not have this section in your, in your configuration file, or you may, so you just gotta either add the line or add the whole section. I know I don't have it on mine because it's fresh. So let's do that right now. So let's plug in the cobalt. All right, so we're gonna go into the dot cobalt folder inside the cobalt folder, and you're gonna see cobaltereader.com. Open up that with your favorite um, text editor and find that line, that section, but I know I don't have it. So I'm just gonna copy and paste it. Doesn't matter where you put it. it the minute you reboot your Kobo, it's gonna put it in the right location. So I'm gonna put it up here and I'm gonna save this. And I'm going to eject the cobalt. Then after the cobalt is ejected, I'm going to reconnect it one more time. And this time we're going to install Nickel Menu. So we go back to our installation, our download folder. We go into the Nickel Menu. And we're going to go and copy that cobalt.root. We're going to copy it. And we're going to paste it inside of our cobalt um, folder. Inside the dot cobalt folder, we're just gonna paste it in here, and then when I eject the cobalt one more time, when the cobalt disconnects, it's gonna start doing the installation, and it's gonna take a while because it's gonna have to reboot, and um, I'll be back when it's done. So you're gonna see it's gonna be like that, updating. I'm going to pause this video and come back when it's done. Okay, now we're back. And as you can see, we have a new menu. It says Nickel Menu. But if you click on it, there is nothing there. It's just a blank page that won't take you anything. So let's go ahead and reconnect the cobalt once again. And we're going to take care of that problem. Now we're about to connect. Alrighty. And this is this is the root folder of our Kobo. And as you can see, we have a new folder called dot ads. Inside of that folder, we have a nickel menu folder. And we have the default doc that gives you all the instructions on how to create your menus. But if you go into the, the stuff that we just downloaded, you go back to the nickel menu folder. You're going to see have an icon and a menu. I put together that little menu. Let's go ahead and copy that on the icon and drag it right there into the same um, nickel menu section in your Kobo. Okay. And then once again, we're going to eject the Kobo.
and this time we're gonna need to reboot actually we don't have to reboot yet but if you look at the menu and you click it now you have options see that that's the the menu that i put together okay you can customize this to your heart society so right now we're going to reconnect the cobalt to the computer if you notice that i didn't have to plug and replug the cable i just used the menu one of the benefits of having a cool menu and we're going to go back to our computer and this time we're going to go into the corridor folder and we're going to uncompress this because zip file extract it all Okay, once that's extracted, you're going to go into the folder here and you're going to see the code reader folder. If you go back into your Kobo inside the ads folder, right where you see the NM for nickel menu in that same section there, you're going to have to drag and drop that code reader folder in there. It's going to take a while. Okay, once that's done, you'll go ahead and eject the Kobo. Ejected. And we should do a reboot. Just to be on the safe side. Okay. And do a reboot. So once you revise device reboots, you could go ahead and test your core reader. That's all it takes. Now we are in, in core reader. That's core reader running. Okay. That's it. That's how easy it is. And in the meantime, you could also install. Uh, nickel nickel series just in case if you decide to use the original um power ui and the nickel series is just an essential program i always install no matter what so anyway this is to be just supposed to be for core uh for core reader and core reader is installed hope you find it useful please like share subscribe and uh leave any comments if you need any questions and uh, that's it. Take care.